These well-known individuals have blood on their hands. We'll be examining well-known people on this list who have either been found guilty of killing one or more people on purpose or by accident. Our countdown includes Charles S. Dutton, Aaron Hernandez, Matthew Broderick, and more. Welcome to True Crime. Let's get started. Number 1. Caitlyn Jenner Caitlyn Jenner, an Olympic gold winner and reality TV celebrity, made headlines in 2015 for a very serious incident. She was involved in a very horrific accident while operating her Cadillac SUV. A woman named Kimberly Howe was driving when her car hit the back of a Prius that stopped short. However, the second impact became fatal when Howe's car was hit with a Hummer. Regretfully, she passed away right there. Jenner escaped the accident uninjured and was cleared of any wrongdoing by prosecutors. Number 2. William S. Burroughs after being released from the U.S. Army, William S. Burroughs lived with a woman named Joan Vollmer until he became a renowned writer. The two eventually fled to Mexico to evade drug charges brought against the author. One night when they were both at a party, Burroughs reportedly took out a gun and insisted he could shoot a glass that Vollmer had on top of her head. However, the writer sadly missed and ended up leaving her with lethal wounds. Burroughs ran away back to the United States before his trial. He was found guilty and handed a two-year suspended sentence. Number 3. Vince Neil. Vince Neil enjoyed success in the late 80s and 90s as the lead vocalist for heavy metal band Motley Crue during the height of the band's popularity. That night, the performer was driving while drunk as he and Hanoi Rocks drummer Nicholas Dingley made their way to a neighboring liquor store. Neil ultimately had a crash with another vehicle. Dingley died in the collision. Neil experienced injuries as well, but he recovered completely. He was charged with vehicular manslaughter for Dingley's death and served 15 days out of a 30-day jail sentence. Number 4. Charles S. Dutton Charles S. Dutton, an Emmy-winning actor and director, became well-known in the 1990s for his leading role in the Fox sitcom, Rock. Additionally, years before his foray into the life of glitz and glamour, Dutton picked up boxing and began fighting in amateur circles. He got himself into trouble as a teenager in 1967 after fatally stabbing a man during an argument. Dutton said he was just protecting himself since the attacker had attacked him with the knife first. But finally, he pleaded guilty to manslaughter and received a five-year prison sentence. Number 5. Robert Blake Blake gained fame for his work in movies and television shows, most notably for his portrayal of a real-life killer in 1967's In Cold Blood. In 1999, Blake wed Bonnie Lee Backley. She had been discovered shot to death in a car two years later. The next year, Blake was taken into custody and faced charges. In the criminal case, he was found not guilty even though other witnesses claimed that he had attempted to hire them to kill her. However, Blake was compelled to pay $30 million after a civil suit considered him responsible for the untimely death of his wife. Number 6. Aaron Hernandez Aaron Hernandez was an NFL star who played tight end for the New England Patriots. However, less than a year after the team renewed his contract, his career came to an end. Police became aware in 2013 that Hernandez's friend Odin Lloyd had died from gunshot injuries. Since the deceased man was found close to the tight end's house, authorities quickly brought him in for questioning. Hernandez was found guilty at the ensuing trial and given a life sentence without the chance of release. Number 7. Scott Hall Scott Hall, better known by his ring as Razor Ramon, is a well-known WWE figure who wrestled professionally for over 30 years. Before his career really took off, in 1983, Hall was accused of second-degree murder in connection with the death of a man in Orlando, Florida. Hall had gotten into a fight outside a nightclub and ended up shooting the man with his own gun. Since that could have ruined his career before it began, the ambitious wrestler argued that he had acted in self-defense. Following an investigation, the charges were dropped. Interviews with Hall afterward revealed that he carried the memories of this terrible experience with him all of his life. Number 8. Johnny Lewis In the late 2000s, Johnny Lewis became well-known for his role as Kip Half-Sack Epps on the FX series Sons of Anarchy. The actor, who was born in Los Angeles, had serious head injuries in a motorcycle accident in 2011. Lewis started acting abnormally after the accident and had many arrests within a year. All of this resulted in the tragic events of September 26, 2012. Lewis allegedly attacked and killed his 81-year-old landlady. In addition, he was discovered dead in his landlady's driveway following that act. While the exact details of what happened that day are still hard to put together. Number 9. Keith Moon Keith Moon, the drummer for The Who, spent a night out at the Red Lion Pub in Hatfield, Hertfordshire, on January 4, 1970. His wife and friend Neil Boland were also in his entourage. An angry crowd of drinkers attacked the group as they were leaving the pub, forcing the drummer and his wife to get into a car. Moon tried to get the car out of the terrible situation while intoxicated. Unfortunately, he ended up running over his friend Boland in the process. Moon was later cleared of all charges after the death was determined to be an accident. Number 10. Snoop Dogg 
Snoop Dogg was arrested in 1993 due to his suspected involvement in Philip Wildermerriam's murder. Wildermerriam allegedly threatened the musician one fateful day, and McKinley Lee, his bodyguard, then opened fire on him. Snoop Dogg was charged with first-degree murder because he was driving the vehicle when Lee fired the fatal shot, making him an accomplice to the crime. The two hired notable celebrity lawyer Johnny Cochran to help defend him. After a nearly four-month trial, Snoop and Lee were found not guilty of the crime. Number 11. Matthew Broderick even though Broderick has two Tony Awards under his name and has acted in a number of highly regarded movies, not all of his fans may be aware of the tragic events that took place in August of 1987 in his life. While on vacation in Ireland with his then-secret lover Jennifer Grey, Broderick's rental car crossed into the wrong lane for an unknown reason and rammed another vehicle, killing both women inside. Broderick and Grey were taken to the hospital while suffering multiple severe injuries, such as cuts and fractures. Following that, Broderick was fined $175 and accused of careless driving. Number 12. Laura Bush Laura Welch was 17 years old when her car crashed and killed her schoolmate and close friend Michael Dutton Douglas. This was long before Laura Welch met George Walker Bush in 1977 and went on to become the First Lady of the United States for two terms. In November 1963, two days after her 17th birthday, Welch, as she was then named, drove passing a stop sign and crashed with Douglas's car, killing him and injuring herself slightly. Although she was not charged for the accident, the tragic event haunted Bush for years. Number 13. Phil Spector. Famous for his work as a producer, songwriter, and music pioneer, Spector was regarded as one of Rolling Stone's greatest artists of all time. However, many were surprised when a lady was discovered dead in Spector's California house in 2003. The woman was actress Lana Clarkson, and although he was quoted as saying that he thought he had killed her, he later claimed that she accidentally took her own life because she had kissed the gun. But the eccentric celebrity was found guilty of second-degree murder in 2009 after being put on trial twice regarding his involvement with Clarkson's death. Number 14. Don King King is among the most well-known boxing promoters of all time because of his unique hairstyle and flamboyant attitude. However, aside from his supposed ties to organized crimes and various litigation cases against him, he was found responsible for the deaths of at least two people in court. The first was Hillary Brown, who attempted to steal money from one of King's gambling houses in 1954, prompting King to shoot Brown in a justifiable homicide. Thirteen years later, King was found guilty after Sam Garrett, a former employee who owed him money, was dead. Finally, he spent four years in prison on a non-negligent manslaughter charge and has since been pardoned for the crime. Number 15. Ted Kennedy Kennedy was a prominent member of the United States Senate, a skilled speaker, and a member of one of the most well-known political families in America. However, the events of July 18, 1969, damaged Kennedy's immortal image. After leaving a party he'd been hosting on Chappaquiddick Island with 28-year-old Mary Jo Kopechna, the car they were in, drove off the bridge and went into the water below. Although Kennedy escaped the sank car and swam to shore, Kopechna did not follow. Later on, he entered a guilty plea for leaving the scene of an accident. An inquest later revealed that negligent driving may have been a factor in the death. That brings us to the end of this video. Our thoughts and prayers go out to those involved. We hope you enjoyed our true crime overview. Be sure to be a true crime subscriber and hit the bell icon to never miss another true crime video. Leave a comment and a like to show your support. Until next time, stay safe, and if you have a true crime story you would love to see, please be sure to leave in the comments below. We look forward to seeing you in our next video.